Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you present perfect continuous. It's one of the most used, uh, frequently used tenses in English and I would say that it's one of my favorite tenses. Mm, I don't know, maybe I like it, uh, how it sounds, uh, but I really like it. Okay, so I hope that you will too. Okay, let's begin. So present perfect continuous is usually used uh, f to describe some actions which began in the past and are still in progress. Uh, are still continuing. Uh, so that's why it usually answers the questions how long? How long have you been working? Как долго ты работаешь? How long have you been studying? How long have you been learning English? Uh, its time markers are for and since. For, um, you, you, you should use for for, for actions, uh, for, for some time expressions that you want to say about some period, okay? I mean, if you want to say uh, how long, I mean period, the period of time, then you should use for. В течение двух лет, да? Вот уже два года. Это все будет for two years. If you want to say from which point in the past, from which date in the past it, uh, has it begun, for example, has it begun, then you would say since, okay? So that's why с, с какого-то момента, с тех пор, да? С понедельника и так далее. Uh, Auxiliary verbs are here have has because it's perfect. Uh, formulas are like this: subject plus have has, been and verb ing. Have has because perfect. Been and verb ing. It's because continuous. You know that in all continuous tenses there should be uh, two parts. One of them is be to be, and the second is verb ing. You know, if it's present continuous, it's uh, is, am, are, and verb ing. I am sleeping. Uh, if it's past continuous. It's was where, тоже to be, in the past, was where plus verb ing, like I was sleeping yesterday at this time. And if it's present perfect continuous, it's of course being and verb ing. If it's future, uh, future continuous, then be verb ing, I will be doing something tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Then uh, negative subject haven't, hasn't been uh, verb ing, logic is the same in all these tenses, in, English, uh, in all English tenses have has, uh, y you make inversion here, inversio делаем, have has выходит вперед, goes uh, in front, and uh, how long, how long have you been doing something? I have been working as a doctor for five years. Работаю врачом вот уже пять лет. I haven't been sleeping for two days. Я не спала вот уже два дня. Have you been doing well since we last met? Ты хорошо поживаешь, у тебя все хорошо с тех пор, как мы в последний раз встретились. Кстати, после since, since вы уже употребляете past simple. Окей? Okay? То есть, have you been doing well? Можно сказать since Monday, а можно после since сказать какое-то там про происшествие, event. How long have you been learning English? Окей. Okay. So, to activate, you should make some sentences. Uh, to activate these uh, formulas, I mean. Um, you should make some sentences with these phrases given. And also you can ask this question, how long have you been doing something, doing sport, playing tennis, if you play tennis, reading a book, uh, if you are reading uh, some, if you are reading a book, and how long have you been reading it? Uh, how long have you been feeling pain? Uh, actually, doctors uh, always ask you these questions. How long have you been feeling this pain? How long have you, ha have you been um, feeling so, so for example ache in your back you can say that how long have you been enjoying driving tak dalya so uh, in order to activate this uh, this grammar uh, this tense you should make as, as more sentences as you can about yourself true sentences okay so what's the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous uh, you know that present perfect it's uh, about actions which has completed in the past. You know, it has completed, the result is important, now you can see its effects, um, I mean, you can see its results, it's very important now, it's about news, it's about experience and uh, accomplishments. Uh, but present perfect is about, present perfect continuous is about actions which began in the past and are still continuing, they haven't been finished yet, yes? And, uh, why I'm uh, just uh, comparing these two tenses here? Because you know that we use for 
and since here and also we we use these two time markers in present perfect for and since for example i have known him for two years and here you can't say i have been knowing him for two years you can't say that uh, you can't say we can't use present perfect continuous here uh, though you began knowing him to uh, 10 years ago and you still know him yes то есть вы даже если знали его там два года назад и до сих пор его знаете мы не можем сказать i have been knowing him for two years мы не можем так сказать почему потому что because uh, we have some verbs which are normally we don't use them in continuous tenses помните мы говорили что есть глаголы которые никогда ни в каких continuous временах не употребляются мы не можем сказать I'm wanting, мы не можем сказать I was wanting. То же самое мы не можем их использовать в Present Perfect Continuous. Поэтому, если нам нужно с этими глаголами составить, дать им такой же смысл, как Present Perfect Continuous, типа а, я там, а, скажем, вот уже три дня хочу апельсины, да, то есть три дня назад я начала хотеть, я до сих пор хочу. Даже если мы хотим дать им такой смысл, мы не можем использовать здесь Present Perfect Continuous. Мы можем только использовать present perfect, потому что continuous не используются эти глаголы. И uh, вот посмотрите. I have known him for 10 years. Знаю его вот уже 10 лет. I've loved him all my, all my life. Я люблю его всю свою жизнь. Или я живу в Астане всю свою жизнь тоже. I have lived here all my life. Кстати, когда говорите all my life, здесь уже for не надо. I've always wanted to live near the sea. Я всегда хотела и хочу жить возле моря. I've, I have always believed in God. Всегда верила и верю в Бога. I have had asthma since I was 13. Как раз таки, когда вы хотите сказать, как, если у вас какая-то болезнь или проблема, вы используете опять-таки present perfect с этим uh, глаголом, потому что have в значении иметь никогда не используется в continuous. Именно в значении иметь. Не путайте это have breakfast, have lunch, have, uh, have a lesson. В, в этих uh, collocations, да, в этих uh, словосочетаниях have не имеет значения иметь, там другие значения, завтракать, uh, проводить урок и так далее. Именно значение у меня астма, да, I have астма. Но если вы хотите сказать с какого-то момента, тогда вы должны использовать present perfect. I have had asthma since I was 13. Или, например, у меня вот этот телефон вот уже год. То же самое. I have had this phone uh, for a year. Uh, если хотите сказать, например, I am ill, мы, помните, говорили, да, я болею. Теперь я болею вот уже два дня, я, это будет I have been ill for two days. Но не будет I have been being ill, конечно же, да. Если be tired, be ill, это же не глаголы у нас, ill, tired, bored, uh, вы знаете, что это adjectives, и мы не можем с ними, мы не можем сказать I have been illing, да. Uh, ill – это не глагол, это в русском глагол болеть. Late – это в русском опаздывать, но в английском это играет роль adjectives. Поэтому нужно сказать I have been late lately. В последнее время я опаздываю. I have been ill for, for a week. Я уже болею вот неделю. I have been tired for two weeks. Я уже вот устаю последние две недели. Я занята с понедельника. I have been busy. Я была занята и до сих пор занята с понедельника. Ну и вопросы, конечно же. How long have you had this watch? Как долго у тебя вот эти часы? How long have you had this illness? Как долго у тебя эта болезнь? How long have you been a member of this club? Как долго ты являешься членом этого клуба? How long have you been tired? How long have you been bored? How long have you been um, whatever? Okay? How, how long have you been anxious about your about about our future? Uh, You, 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 may, you can make a lot of sentences here. Uh, okay. So, also for activating some exercises, um, it's homework. The more exercise you do in grammar, the more you have a possibility uh, to, to memorize, to remember them. Okay? So, that's, that's the end. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.